Hey everybody, it's Jane from Norman S. Wright. In this week's video, I'm gonna answer the question, what is a fluid cooler? So let's get started. A fluid cooler is a type of heat exchanger that removes heat from a liquid, usually water or glycol water mixture, by rejecting the heat into the air. Before I talk about fluid coolers, I need to do a quick reminder about how cooling towers work. I'll put a link to the full video below, but here's a short summary. A cooling tower is a heat exchanger that uses evaporation to remove heat from water-cooled chiller systems. Let me move this up a little bit so I can draw it. So let's just draw a cutaway of it and put the fan on top. Water which has been heated by the condenser is pumped into the cooling tower and distributed onto banks of media called fill. Water from above will run down the fill, kind of like this, slowing the flow of water through the cooling tower and, ex and exposing it as much as possible for maximum air-to-water contact. As the water flows through the cooling tower, it's exposed to air, which is being pulled through the tower by the fan at the top. Air and water meet, and a small amount of water is evaporated, creating the cooling action. As the air with evaporated water rises, it hits this section up here called the drift eliminator. This forces the air through zigzag sides to be reclaimed by the system. After passing through the fill, the water collects in a basin at the bottom of the cooling tower, and the cooled water is then pumped back to the condenser where it starts the process all over again. So now let's move this over and look at how a fluid cooler works. A fluid cooler combines the functionality of the cooling tower and a plate heat exchanger into one piece of equipment. So let's draw this again, but in place of fill, let's put the heat exchanger. Warm process fluid enters the cooler from your system. It might be water from a chiller or data center or from industrial equipment, but it flows through the heat exchanger coils. Recirculating water is distributed evenly over the coils. It's in a basin up here. Heat is transferred from the process fluid to the recirculating water, cooling the fluid inside the coils, which then goes back to the system. The fan draws air up through the coils, and I'm going to make it green this time to differentiate it from the recirculation water. This evaporates some of the recirculation water and takes the heat up and rejects it into the atmosphere. So I removed the fill from my drawing, but some hybrid units do have fill, which acts as a primary evaporative surface. So let's move this over and look at that. So let me draw the unit again and put the fan on it. There's a recirculation water basin, and then you have the fill. The recirculating water will be distributed over the fill. Air is drawn in through it, and evaporation happens, and the water is cooled and the warm air is removed. Then the water goes to a distribution basin. Below that is the coil. So the hot process fluid is going through the coil, and as recirculation water is distributed over the coil, it cools the process fluid. Air is also being pulled through this section by the fan to be rejected out the top of the unit. The recirculation water is captured and pumped back to the top of the unit and the process starts over again. Like cooling towers, fluid coolers can be either cross-flow or counter-flow. In cross-flow, the air comes in from the side and moves across the coils perpendicular to the direction of the recirculating water. This is basically what I just drew. In a counter-flow fluid cooler, the air would be moving upward while the recirculation water is moving down, so they're going in opposite directions, kind of like I did in the first drawing. Let's make a little more room. The primary application of fluid coolers are water source heat pumps. You'll also see them used in water-cooled variable refrigerant flow, VRF or VRV systems, and you might see them used in hybrid geothermal heat pumps and air compressor cooling. Let's bring everything back on screen. That covers what fluid coolers are and how they work. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, put them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.